Hey everybody, it's John the Gamer Duel here, and I'm about to drop everything again. Because I have the greatest tendency in doing that. Yay! Um, anyway. So, today, if I could go to the properties and, and actually do what I want, which I don't think it will. Because for some reason it just doesn't want to do that. There we go. It's doing it again. Woo! Okay, anyway. Last episode, we had an unfortunate encounter with a freaking Dialga. Ugh, it's probably gonna be the intro moment of the last episode because, oh my god, I cannot believe what happened. So, if you wanna see why freaking Shelly's not on the layout, go see in the section below. Um, like, ah, I was so. Freaking infuriated with that. <laughs> uh, anyway, like, I mean, anybody would be infuriated when they lose, like, a good Pokemon. So, we got our squad up to level 60 because it's freaking, we're getting wild. We have Dan, we have Luca, we have Mar, we have Bulbas, we have Cheryl, which had to learn Waterfall because freaking Shelly died. Uh, we have Mike with Surf, Muddy Water, Water Pulse, and Moonlight as our new Mon. Mike is kind of a decent mod. I really like Mike a lot. So, let's see if Mike can actually pull through and make it to the Elite Four so we have a bulky mod. Um, we have a new encounter today, but before we go ahead and take it and get this encounter, uh, actually, no, we got Dust Balls. We're fine. We got Dust Balls. Before we get this encounter, I have a common question for you. I normally don't have one. What is your least favorite status or combination of statuses? For me, it's being immobilized. That's my least favorite. So, what's your guys'? Let me know down below. Victory Road is here. Oh my god, our encounter! This music. Oh my god, it's a Palkia! Bruh! Yes! I can't believe I didn't. Why did I name Karai after? Ah! I'm so mad that I named Karai after freaking Absol last episode because, bruh, it's a Palkia and Karai had it in his sleep lock. Link's not in the description below, but on the side panel of my channel, go check him out. What the heck? Okay. Like, holy crap. <laughs> That literally made me jump out of my seat. Um, or off my bed, rather. Um, what is resisted? Um, let's see. Dragon is resisted by, uh, dragon. What does dragon even resist? Bruh! I can't think. I don't want to kill my encounter. Bro, this music is so good, though. Okay. Mike. Oh, yeah. Mikey got quad resistances. Aha. Got it. I figured it out. Unintentionally, but I figured it out. I'm in a Muddy Water. Because Muddy Water should not kill. This is a quad resisted move, by the way. So, this should probably be doing nothing to Palkia. Yeah. And we got the accuracy drop. Let's go. You still managed to hit a Hydro Cannon, but that's okay. We got the accuracy drop, so... I am not mad at all. Bro, this is going to be the lit start to an episode. And I'm going to have to go to work because I'm not going to make any progress because we encountered a Palkia. But I can't be mad. We encountered a Palkia. Like, ah, I was not expecting that. Okay. <laughs> like, I, I literally can't be mad. But it's really hilarious that, of course, that's what we're going to encounter. When I'm gonna like, let's, I'm like, let's get through Victory Road, yes! And yeah, our encounter's a Palkia. So, good luck with that. Um, good luck with that, me. Um, sorry, future me who's gonna have to sit here and record Finish Victory Road. Um, <laughs> because, um, because, uh, past me couldn't get it done. Um, anyway. Time to like super speed this. I mean, we can do it. We got this. We'll catch the Palkia. 
Ow. Um, no crits, por favor. Um, just no crits, por favor. I prefer not to get crits, so let's not, let's not get crits, okay? Let's just, let's not. Future me is gonna be mad if I lose Mon. Okay, we caught that, we caught that boy real quick. <laughs> to be honest, we caught that by boy real quick. So, because we already nicknamed something Karai, we haven't nicknamed anything Cypher. Cypher is going to be the name of this Palkia. Um, I always spell Cypher's name wrong, but I'm, I, I, I don't, I care, but I also like Cypher is going to be transferred to box two because we literally can't fit anybody in Laos in box one. Bro, though, like honestly was not expecting that. Like, I can't be more honest than that. Like, I was out here like, oh, we're good. That's fine. We're just going to get something casual. No, we got anything but casual. We literally got anything but casual as our first. Because in my head, I'm like, oh, yeah, character or something like that. I mean, I never, I didn't know it was on this route. So, that obviously, that helps with me being super hyper and surprised. Oh, that was, wait. Yeah, I mean, I could go get those items, right? I totally could. But I'm gonna have to fight trainers. Oh, there was... See, there was some good mods. I think we got the best mod, though. Freaking boring. Ah! I can't... I can't be mad. Oh, that's that... That had, uh... The download ability. That's not bad. But, oh. I cannot... I literally can't... Put two and two together right there. Like... 100% was not expecting. Uh-oh. Okay. Like, 100% was not expecting that. Ooh, Roserade is in here, too. I mean, we already had one, so that would have been Species. But, and I'm, I know I'm not, like, attacking these things, because I literally have to go in, like, eight minutes, but um, we're going to get... Oh, my gosh. I'm going to freak out every time, because I'm like, Oh, my God, pack you! Those transitions. Um, but now I can attack it and get experience from it. Like, now I wouldn't feel bad, but I'm still going to run, because... Yeah, I'm, um, bad. Um, okay, so, let's see what we're gonna fight first. These trainers, <coughs> um, excuse me, ouch. These trainers are gonna be, like, level 60, like, close to 60, like, 55. Oh, 52. The Elite Four is gonna have 66s, so I had, I had to train up to 60. Yeah, this makes this part easier, but, I mean, Victory Road is not really a, a big issue. Typically. Normally, Victory, Victory Road is not the biggest of issues, so we're out here dealing with it. Metacham, get out of here, Metacham. Hippowdon, okay, we're, we're going to swap into Bulbas. Bulbas? Okay, so while I was, okay, I don't know if you guys know this, but I usually like train up my Pokemon, but because I wanted to get the series recorded and so I can um, stream it on the, on Saturday. I gen right? I, I, not, I did not gen the levels, I just gen rare candy so I can rare candy them up. Which is gonna suck for my Lodix, um, IVs, but, whatever, or, um, EVs, but, we'll deal with it. Um, and, I looked at when Bulbas was caught, right? And I was like, I feel like Bulbas has been with us for a long time. This girl has been with us since March. Like, since we did our... Because we recorded, like, 13 episodes of this series. Like, bam, 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 bam. Because I had just done a sleepwalk. And I was like... And I was just hanging out at Patrick's house. Which is my friend's house. Um, it was Torterra. We're going to, like, completely annihilate this thing with an ice beam. So, like, I just went bam, 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 bam. We're going to do this. We're going to deal with it. And... This girl has been with us since episode 6. Like, the OG... Oh, I'm dumb. I need to switch this thing around because I literally have a method to the way the Pokemon are. Okay, so anyway, when you see the second half of this episode, my logic's going to be moved straight back to the end because I kind of just pulled the the extreme randomizer thing. But my logic was, I, I usually, I order it by who's been on the squad the longest. Um, My logic is literally... Okay, so we're sitting out back here. We're back here. We're getting this whole shebang started once again over. Um, I don't even know 
<laughs> it looks it almost looks like I'm restarting the episode, but I 100% know that we're not restarting this episode. It's just kind of funny that that's kind of the case because it, it definitely looks. Oh wait, is somebody poisoned? Okay, no, that's just the way it looks. Okay, so I bought repels like go through this like a thousand times faster. You know, I spent ten thousand on twenty repels. Because, um, that's worth it to me. <laughs> um, especially because I kind of want to get the items. There's items in here, and they could prove useful. So I figure we can do that. We can fight this trainer right here. Might as well. For an item, it's worth it. For the level that we need, it's also worth it. Um, we w I want to fight, like, every like almost everybody here, but not quite everybody. I was having issues. Hippowdon. More Hippowdons? I appreciate Hippowdons. Um, also, we don't need Cheryl in the front anymore because, well, Cheryl, we don't need the lack, her, it, we don't need her lax in sense. We have Waterfall though, so that'll be fine. We can take Waterfall, we can end up kind of just killing it, right? Hippowdon, da 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 dead? Is Hippowdon, Hippow dead? No, it's, it's not Hippow dead. Uh, but Bone Ring will not affect us. Sandstorm will though, sadly, but we have a solid 268 HP. Wow, random, you just randomly popped the swap out of nowhere. Oh my gosh, what are you doing now? What is this AI planning? I mean, you swapped into a Pidgeot, which scares me because, well, it's a Pidgeot. So what does this Pidgeot have that you think it, Cheryl's going to be able to, well, it's dead anyway. Oh, wait, it meant, what, 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 oh, Pidge. This is the first, I I had uh, my, it in front because it had the rock. I was like, oh, it has lax and scents. I messed up big time. The lax and scents is the one that is the accuracy one. Oh my gosh. I, that just popped into my head. Anyway, we're going to game drain this hip hop on out of here, but boom. That's why it wasn't working here. I'm like, why is this incense not working? I have the pure incense for a reason. It's because it was the lax incense. I, my head went lax, meaning that things aren't going to pop out as easily. No, lax incense is the one that makes moves 90% accurate. So it just missed 100% accurate move, which is perfectly fine with me. Bright powder. That is the first time we've seen that really in effect. That is legit really the first time we've had it in effect which is kind of sad but that's fine oh wait i'm gonna go get this I, it's worth probably sketch never mind it's not worth <coughs> that really was not worth it but we'll, we'll, we'll live with it bop, 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 bop. Ba -da 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 -da. you have a crowbat okay we're starting off with the crowbat i don't mind that level 49 it's not Nothing too pressuring, like, it's just a Crobat. Um, I'm gonna Air Slash, because that's gonna do the more the bulk of the damage. Um, it sucks that we had to teach Waterfall, but we do need, like, almost all of our TMs, which is kind of annoying, to say the least, but... No, what I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm getting the items for, other than, like, the TMs are gonna be nice to have, and things like that. That's, like, the only things that I'm thinking of is the TMs, but... Cheryl's gonna get some experience. Arcanine is next. So Arcanine, we'll go right into Mike. Mike is gonna make his debut battle right here. His debut, actually no, it wasn't his debut because um, we caught the um, Palkia. So Mike, is this is not your debut battle, but that's close enough. Surf should do a lot of damage. I'm liking the fact that I have a Milotic. I really like Milotic as a Pokemon, honestly. It feels nice to like have one. Like, it feels nice to have a Pokemon that you, you enjoy on the team. Hitmontop is next. Uh, Hitmontop is 100% Cheryl's responsibility. No questions about that. Cheryl, take your responsibility and just kill this thing. As long as we have no deaths in this um, area, our team should be close to level the level they need to. And I can just grind them up because um, I have two days to do that. So I can actually, man I'll, I'll actually manually grind them up. 
which will be nice. It'll be nice to kind of have the team, like, and feel out the team. We'll see how much experience they get, because they should give enough experience for it to be pseudo worth it. I don't have the lucky egg, which, if, if I can get that, then I can be happy as it all could be. So, Luca, you're going to just rock climb this thing. Repel the fact wore off. Bag, get another one started. And then let's just go ahead. Rock climb our way down because there's another item right here, right? Oh, no, there's not. Never mind, there's not. I so thought there was, but I guess there's not. I'm like, I don't know where the items are, to be honest. I just am looking. <laughs> If I can find one and get to one, I will go go to it, but. Okay, rock down. It's lying their way down. I might get them off screen, too. Like, that might be what we do. So we're going to go up here. We're going to break our rock with rocks mask because we have a cherim that can awesomely do that. So we're gonna, and we're going to use Strength because we have a Strength on Fortress. One thing I like about this team is this team has a very... Oh, of course, we're Pell's Effect War off now. Um, bag. Our team is very... Our eight gems are nice because we don't have to like... Oh, no. I don't know where to go in this in terms of this. That's the strength one I was trying to figure out, but I couldn't I couldn't think of a way to do it. It was kind of funny. I was like, I don't know. I felt bad because I had absolutely no idea. But when I have no idea, I have no idea. And that's, that's about it. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to Giga Drain because we have a lot more special or a lot less special defense there. And we'll just heal ourselves all the way up after we take on this Swampert. Now, I know that we're kind of over-leveled for the area, but we kind of have to be with... Because there's just a big jump. So, it's kind of crazy how big the jump is between everybody. Smeargle is next, and Smeargle, huh? I might as well stay in. It's a Smeargle. Like, it won't do anything crazy to me. Level 55. See, there we go. That's what I like to see. Now, the Ace of Flint is going to be level 66, right? And so my thought process was, this Ace is going to be 66. Maybe if we jump in at 65, Luxray, then we'd be fine because that'll still... Uh-oh. What happened to my keyboard? Oh no! I messed up. Okay. That's fine though. We can still leaf blade. It's that it's not resisted, so I'm not complaining. Luxray probably will actually get hurt badly. Copycat. Oh thanks. Wait, isn't copycat priority now? No, copycat's not priority. Copycat's only priority when a with Prankster. Da, 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 da. Of course. Didn't think about that, but we got a crit. We got a crit when we didn't need it, but that's okay. So 2202 with Bulbas, and Engineer Joey is taken out. I'm thinking, right? Oh. Hey, I did it right, just unintentionally. We're going to rock smash again, and we're going to have to take on another trainer, because that trainer's definitely going to see me. Bam, and we're going to have to go in there, right? And then from in there, we kind of go down. I, okay, I know where I'm going. I think I've got where I'm going in my head. I'm Now I'm just going to go out and extracurricularly fight these fights that I don't need to fight, because experience and less grinding for me. Um, that's what that, literally the only reason I'm doing that is, <laughs> it's kind of a selfish re reason, but less work that I need to put in, uh, to get grinding, but, sacrifice, oh my gosh, okay, 
but there's also a sacrifice with that too because that gives more risk of a death so i could do one of two things and i just you know there's just there's that those, that sacrifice that you you need to make and you know, we got a crit i'll take it we'll level all heal all our health back and bulba should level up to 51 off of that oh nope she won't walrein ah i hate walrein i really do walrein is my least favorite mod in the entire series of pokemon so if i can deal with wall rain though ice beam okay oh wall rain is gonna move now okay so the reason why i'm like freaking out about that i should probably explain wall rain has not had to move this entire series my rival has a wall rain So knowing that, it makes this a little bit more scary. Okay, we live a non-crit. Or we live it well, we live a non-crit. We also live a crit. Um, but now we've we beat the wall rain down. Right? Like. We're fine. We're fine. Wall rain literally always tries to claim a kill. It literally always tries to claim a kill. Luckily, in this case, it did not. So Murr's gonna gain his experience, and Engineer Noel has been defeated. We got a solid only thirty, uh, only a solid thirty-three hundred from that. Um, okay, although we do have, oh wait, we still have hyper potions. We're just gonna heal up. We're fine on Cheryl right now. Well, I blocked that. Okay, never mind. Can't can't do that. I blocked it. Can't go that way. That's a pu that that's oh I got it. Ow! That sucks. I hit the corner. But that's okay. Levion. Okay, Levion's fine. Cheryl can handle it. You saw that hopefully on camera, but probably not. Okay, well, air slash. So I guess I gotta go claim those items in post, sadly. Um but Levion does end up fainting, so we're fine there. With Levion fainting, Cheryl's gonna gain her experience. Chimeco is next. We're gonna stay battling on the Chimeco, because Chimeco should die. This is should die to a Shadow Punch, in theory. I know it's physical and it's not like Shadow Ball. I kinda wish that Cheryl learned Shadow Ball, but Cheryl never did, so. Calm mind. Luckily, Cheryl is faster than a Chimeco. Oh yeah, no. If Cheryl had shot, if Shadow Ball would be a great move for me to learn. And we beat Analyst Kim. Analyst Kim has been defeated. Time to go down. And go down this rock wall. And I should say my repel is about to wear off. It should. Okay, so now we gotta beat, defeat this guy in Victory Road. See, this Victory Road is not actually bad. It's just, I tried to do something extra earlier, and, you know, when you try and do extra stuff, that, I might actually even cut that out, because I was just doing extra stuff, like, and was just failing miserably at th figuring that out. So literally, like, the only important thing is just the fact that I caught a Palkia. Feather Dance, that's gonna do absolutely nothing for you. Your level 55 best week when doesn't doesn't matter. Except for it gives us a level up, so that's the only part that matters about it, to be honest. And we defeated Trainer Anne. So our first mod to level 61 has been completed. Victory Road continued. Nothing over there. We're just fine. We fight her. We can go up. We fight him. There's an item there. And we go down and around and there's an item there. So, there's there's things that we can get soon. Cheryl. Ugh, uh, Cheryl, 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 Cheryl. Oh my gosh, you have 272. You might just barely not have 
I actually think it'll just barely end up with not 300 HP. I was so hoping that Cheryl would end up having 300 HP. I just don't think she will. She'll, I think she'll barely not. Um, Bulbous, get out here. Bulbous can Leaf Blade this thing. It, it might have adaptability, so it might hurt. Oh, Brian, that, that, that won't hurt. I was thinking like a Crab Hammer or something would hurt, but Brian, Brian won't hurt at all. And Crawdon, well, just drop, drop real quick. As Bulbous will now be at level 61, hopefully. Nope, barely. Rampardos. Okay, well, now Bulbous is going to be level 61. 100%. There's... Okay, this Giga Drain will be better because you're more of a uh, physical wall. I mean, you don't really wall very well because, well, you're slow. Like, Rampardos is a, a really nice Pokemon, but it's also, like, a really trash Pokemon, too. And in my, in my opinion, I really love its design and wish it was a better Pokemon than it is. But... Bulbas, level 61, you're going to get 164. Hypno is next. We're going to go ahead and swap on that. Bring Cheryl in for her experience. See if um, Shadow Punch can do some, some, some damage. I don't know. I don't know what it'll do, but it should do something. It probably won't one-shot, but yeah. Shadow Punch is kind of just that kind of a move. It's just not that, not good enough to to do that. Although Psycho Cut is a decent move. Endure, of course. Okay, you're going to live on one. You're going to just basically waste my time, but that's okay. That's okay if it wants to waste my time. 1837 and Chef Mark has been defeated. Yeah, we have intentions to get to this Pokemon League. Repels, effect, war off. Okay, back to the bag. And back to our super repels. Because we're definitely not going to use all the ones we have. Oh, wait. I can do that? Really? A charcoal. Okay, that's not... That wasn't really too worth... I didn't think I could do that. That's cool. I didn't have to fight him. Although I will. A Fluffy Tail, that does nothing for me. That's a double battle I kind of want to avoid. If I can, at least. I mean, I should probably fight them, because we're literally at the home stretch right now. Like, literally, I can fight those two, fight that guy, and there's one more guy up there, and that's, that's, that's it. That's the end. Might as well. Might as well. This is the big. This is the biggest risk, risk, uh, riskiest fight. So, what do you guys have? A Slow King and a Huntail. Oh, that's fine. Cheryl and Luca, level sixty and sixty-one. So Cheryl will Shadow Punch the Slow King, and Luca will um will Sludge Bomb the Slow King. We'll double the Slow King because I don't think it'll die. So the Huntail can just kind of do whatever it wants to. But if the Slowking... No, okay. I was going to say, if the Slowking does die, I'll be happy. But I don't think it will. Okay, a Slowking gets defeated. Oh my gosh. Slowking took that! Oh, boy. Okay, Psybeam, that should not do enough to Luka. Yeah, that did not... Not do anything of massive destruction to Luka. And then... Let's see if we can get the 30% chance. Ooh, a crab hammer. Oh, Luca might die. Luca might straight be dead. No, Luca survived. Okay. I was gonna say, Luca is probably the one Pokemon that I could be I'd be okay with dying, but I prefer neither of them to die if I can help it. As Huntail looks like it had swift swim. So we're gonna go ahead. Air slash the hunt tail. And then we're gonna heal up Luca. Ooh, Luca's got a lot of experience a lot now. Like literally when we get to the Pokemon League, we're gonna literally heal up and any amount that we can right now. Water sport. Okay, that's the that's the okay one. Water spout is the scary one. Water sport's the okay one. Air slash 
Should kill the Huntail. Huntail's down? Yes, Huntail's down. Perfect. Okay, so Cheryl and Luca both gain a thousand. Double battles suck as far as experience goes, but we'll deal with it. A Mantine will just surf its way out because we're just gonna fight you. And then that's that. Yeah, we'll fight you, get out. That's basically it. Fight you, go up and go up and out. I can't believe that. Hitmonlee. Okay, well now we need a Hitmonchan. That would be that would be really funny if there was a Hitmonchan in here at some point. Okay. Oh, whoa! Pop in the swap into Hitmonlee to victor from Hitmonlee to Victory Bell. Oh, okay. From Hitmonlee to a Victory Bell. So you had no way of hitting me then. I'll take it. You have absolutely no way of hitting me then because you switched. And you would not have switched unless you had no way of hitting me. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. No way of hitting me. I am down for that. I am down for that. Hitmonlee faints. And we uh, defeated Lawrence. And we're gonna just go up here. We're gonna do it. We're gonna get this. We're gonna we're gonna make it. We're gonna go down this waterfall. Get Lunar Dance, which is gonna do absolutely nothing for us, of course. That's okay. That's okay. Lunar Dance. If we have to Lunar Dance, we gotta Lunar Dance. This is Oh my gosh, this is the second to last fight! This is the second to last fight! Magmordor! Um, Magmordor, what do we have for you? We have Mike for you. Mike can handle you. That was a crit. That did nothing. And that even burned us too. Like, ooh, burned does a lot of damage in this generation. Holy cannoli. That really does do a lot of damage. Bolt, super effective. And destroyed. It might get hurt by the burn, but that's okay. Raichu's next, so we're definitely gonna have to pop the swap. Anyway. Um, Raichu, we don't really have anything for you. Electric types are kind of, this kind of scary. I've got Ball Beam too, so we're just going to go into our own Raichu and hope that you have some stupid moves, but I don't. I think you're gonna have Ice Beam too. Like I remember it having Ice Beam. I don't remember Raichu. Raichu is a Stone Evolution, so what doesn't learn anything else? Why do you have Charge? I don't remember Charge being part of your. You might have had Charge, but I mean. Unless I I don't recall repeal I recall ha it having ice beam to begin with. I don't recall it having charge ever, unless I got rid of that for like something that I just learned recently. But I remember having this move set. Bite might have been a TM. It could it might have had charge and I might have taught it bite. That's the only thing I can think of. Charge. Okay, um, Mike, you need a full restore. Or, do we even have full restore? It's a good question. No, we don't. So, I have a burn heal.
in a hyper potion that I can give to both Mike and Cheryl. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. But what are you going to have? I can sense that you have a lot of trust in your Pokemon. Yes, I do. I have to have a lot of trust in my Pokemon. Malcolm has a Charizard. Okay. I'm not really threatened by this Charizard. I might as well just go into Mike. Mike can serve the Charizard. It's super effective. That's, I think, my best course of action. Other than... Yeah, no, that's my best course of action. Fire Blast won't do much. Like 30 points of damage? Yeah, barely. Not even 30. And we're just going to surf this. Wing Attack. That'll do a little bit more, but still not a lot because it's just a Wing Attack. It... Charizard should die. I don't see a reason Charizard would stay alive. Yep. x is next. X Blood, that's a that's a Cheryl Mont. That is a Cheryl Mont. And I'm gonna go ahead and air slash. Cheryl can't get hit by this. If it has normal type stab or any normal type stab, it can't get hit by. So Oh, we got a crit. We'll take it. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to get one, but we got it. Cheryl, 2089. Slowbro, we might as well stay in. Slowbro is a lot more specially defensive. So, we can just... We should be able to just Shadow Punch. Magic Coat? Okay. But no, this is the one that's more specially defensive, right? No, this is the physically defensive one. Yeah, this is the physically defensive one. That's okay. I was like, wait a second. That's, I think I got that one wrong. Because he did. Because he did, John. Um... Brine, that still should do nothing. That's like 30, 30 damage. 40? Okay. That's respectable damage. That was respectable. 1861, about to get to level 62. Get off that bike. Get off that bike, young man. Yeah, I could go get that, but... I am not in the mood to get that. And none of, these aren't proving to be very worthwhile anyway. Um, Marshall sends out a Delcaddy. Delcaddy is like not even a issue. So the rival, if the first Elite Four member is 61, right? If the very first Elite Four member is 61, the rival should be like 59. It, the rival's ace, to my knowledge, is 59. So, I think we'll fight the rival today so that the Elite Four is the only thing we have. I mean, this, we've been recording for 22 minutes. Plus, probably the, the, the 10 minutes added on. So, that's 32. So, we might split this. Because I just don't want the rival, the final rival fight to be super easy because we're super over leveled, you know? Because, like, it's a lot, I guess, I don't know, it's a lot more different when it's an Elite Four member because you know that you have to do that. Whereas for the freaking um, ending, it's like, yeah, you don't, I don't have to do that. So we're going to air slash. This thing is going to go. My champ's dead. Oh my gosh, it lived on like just barely a little bit. But it's dead enough. And my champ faints. 21, so 62. Yeah, I think we're... I think we're enough... Leveled enough to take on the final rival fight. I can't believe we actually made it. Uh, only 13 deaths, too. That's not bad. I kind of averaged 13 deaths, though. That's a, that's a very, very good average of about 13 deaths in a normal Let's Play series. Okay, don't go too far. 
So we're going to heal up. We hope to see you again. Oh, you will. We're fighting you. We're fighting you now. Hold it! Don't go without me. Are you challenging the Pokemon League, aren't you? That's why I'm here, too. Let's see who's more worthy of making a challenge with this battle. Okay, this this is literally the last battle before this live stream of tomorrow. Oh, you have... Yeah, that's right. You do have six mods. Lopany. Good start. Okay, level 55. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We are fine. We are fine. We're gonna air slash. You withdraw... You withdrew Lopany to go straight into wall rain. You pop this... Yeah, you're 59. That's perfect, because that... Yeah, that's okay. I remember it being, like, a two-level gap. Like, 59, 61, 63, 66, blah, 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 68, um, and 71. Like, I remember that. Well, we kind of just took out your ace, like, real quickly, so... Oh, we got a crit? I wasn't paying attention. But you just wasted your... You wasted your ace. Bruh, super. It's a 66, and you... I probably should have just shut up because we just. Cheryl just decided to miss. And we got crit. Oh, that wasn't even a crit? Oh boy. Well, let's just hit the 100% accurate move then. Jeez, that wasn't even a crit. I should have just done that in the first place, and I need to learn to do that because I'm bad at doing that. Mag Mortar. Okay, well, we have Mike for that. Mike, please handle the Mag Mortar. The only thing I don't really want to take on is an electric type. Like, yeah. Okay. The only thing I don't want to take on is an electric type. So, as long as we don't do that, we're fine for the end of this episode. Come on, Magmortar. Die, 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 die. Yeah. Okay, we have to kill. What do we have next? Lopany. Okay, Lopany is coming back out. You popped the swap so we know you can't hit me. Because you wouldn't have popped the swap otherwise, which means that you probably will pop the swap again. So you'll get us a free healing opportunity. Let's see if we can expo expose the AI. I'm really hoping that we just expose the AI. I don't know, did we? No, you, we didn't. Okay, evasiveness falls. So that's the only thing you can hit me with then. Okay. Missed war off. That's fine. You're just... We're just gonna get... Oh, yep, there we go. What did you pop a swap into? Unknown. Unknown's dead. <laughs> or is it unknown or... No, it's unown. Wait. Unown. Well, okay, unown's dead. Lopany's coming back out. We're just gonna stay. You just keep pumping the swap into your Lopany like it's like it actually matters. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> okay, AI. You can keep dropping my invasiveness. I don't care. We just hard countered. We just basically had, like, the hard counter to his team, to be honest. Lopany's down. Three left? Or two left? I think it's two left. Dunsparce. We literally had the hard counter to his team. I'm not gonna complain. We just had, like, a direct hard counter. He wasted his wall rain. He wasted the mon that literally is the scariest force to face. It's not my problem. Not my problem. He, he made a bad choice. Oh. We're in a healing war. Because we got a low roll. Yeah, that's a healing war. Oh, I don't like healing wars. Especially with this slow thing. I'm going to fly. If you moonlight again, that's fine. Because. Hopefully, like, a fly plus an air slash should take you out. Because fly is more base power.
Ooh. <laughs> this thing just SD'd up. This thing's like, I'm not dying. Okay, as long as you don't heal, because Moonlight does not have enough PP for you to do this. That's that's three of five. I think that's three of five or four. No, that's four of five. You've only got one more left, dude. You realize I am literally counting it down right now. You got one more left. I, you have one Pokemon left. I've got six. You stalling is not going to change this game. Yeah, you're getting rid of my air slashes, but I'm next to a Pokemon Center. I am right next to a Pokemon Center, so you're going to have to figure stuff out. Mimic. Oh, okay. You can air slash me. Whatever. You're Dunsparce. Dunsparce dies. Bam. You had no moves. None at all. And... This man had two Lopidus. <laughs> this man, for real, had two... <laughs> Not just one Lopany. This man for legitly had two Lopanies. Oh, Supra. <laughs> you legit had two Lopanies. I'm so sorry that we literally had the hard counter to your entire team. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, well, Super got hard countered. I can't, I can't say anything otherwise. He got hard countered. I guess I'm not ready for the Pokemon League if I'm losing to you. Darn it. You watch, though. I'll get tougher through the, go through the Pokemon League, and I'll become the trainer, the champion. John, you better not lose before me. That's fine. Oh, wait. So, let's, let's heal. And that'll be it for this episode. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. As tomorrow, we will be doing the finale. Live. What time? Let's figure this out on, on recording. So I think, I don't even know. I think I'm 10 to, ooh. This Saturday is going to be interesting. We have, um, so actually, it'll be live on Sunday, Sunday at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Be there and see you guys then. Bye-bye!